I'll get down to your size here. Okay, wait. This is you, right? Yeah. Okay, don't kill me, but like, I know every fan's gonna be mad at me for asking this. What's What's Heffron Drive? Heffron Drive um, is actually my band right now, currently. Okay. Uh, and it's also the street I grew up on, which is why the band name got its band name. But I actually had Heffron Drive going before Big Time Rush. Really? And that's why I still have the Twitter, and that's why I always had it. But now that I'm now that I'm carrying on making music with it. Uh, it's really helpful because everyone follows that Twitter, so it's really great. Now, where was Heffron Drive? Where did you grow up? in Burbank. Up? Wait, you're like a Burbank local? I mean, I'm from Kansas, but I grew up in Burbank, yeah. Okay, so where are your local spots? Well, I guess maybe you don't want to give them away because then no, people No, no, because I don't really hang out in Burbank all that much anymore. I, moved... I go to Olive Garden in Burbank. Oh, nice. Um, local spots, I would say BB's. BB's is a breakfast place in Burbank right near where I grew up. Uh, also, uh, there's always Bob's Big Boy. Oh, classic, right? right? That's right classic. Yeah, so, you know. So my question for you, keeping with the spirit of this movie, 48 Hours to Live, God forbid, but if you had 48 hours, what would be just like your bucket list? Where would you go? What would you eat? What would you want to do? Who would you be calling? Take me there. If I had 48 hours, yeah. well, I'd eat some really good food. All right. Something that's just like super tasty that you can't like, like, if you're going to have a last meal... I mean, let's talk about that. Like a last meal, what would you pick? If you had one, uh, if you had two days to pick your Olive meals, Garden. Just Olive Garden. <laughs> this is a shout out to Olive Garden, by okay. the way. I guess this totally turned they into. They sponsor a this. No. So, question: You do music, so who would be somebody you would want to cover a song with, like a if classic? I had Forty-eight hours to live. <laughs> um, if I had to cover a classic song with somebody, I'm doing something with Stevie Wonder would be amazing. Ooh, that would be really good. He's really nice, by the well, there's way. There's plenty of people, but like that's a good one. Yeah. And what did it mean for you to come out tonight to support James? So you guys obviously still keep in touch from time to time. Yes, of course. He actually texted me and invited me to this himself. So I am very happy to be here to support him. He's like my brother. And, like, you know, we pretty much spent, like, five years growing up together. So uh, I'm just happy to be here. And I honestly can't wait to see him on screen. It's going to be great. So question for you. People that grew up watching that show clearly, like, it was a you know a younger genre at the time. So who were the people you were watching the shows that you were obsessed with when when you were that age? Oh, I was watching Nickelodeon actually. I was watching all that and, and um, I watched Figure It Out a lot. Summer Sanders, the nineties, the nineties kid. When I was a kid, um, so I was really big into the the Nickelodeon game shows. And I was also watching Dexter's Lab at the time. Big Dexter's Lab fan. That's a callback. I, well, we do we. How old are you? I actually dressed as Dexter for Halloween this last Halloween. Really? Yeah, it's pretty great. I feel like like Go all the young people. Look at that photo, you'll be impressed. I really? did the costume myself. We should just go in your whole insta You have a lot of followers. Yes. What does that feel like? Uh, <laughs> honestly, it's not something that you notice on a day-to-day -day basis. So what's your Instagram handle? My name, Kendall Schmidt. So you didn't get Heffron Drive on that? No, actually, you know what? A fan was lucky, was was uh, kind enough to grab it for us, so we really? didn't lose it. Yeah. I like that way of looking at it. You made it very positive. You're like, oh, that's a, that's a good picture. Thank you. That's wow. cool. So who shot that? They had to get like down on your level. <laughs> down on my level. How did, how did they? Were they laying on your chest to Pretty shoot? Pretty much. Who shot that. My girlfriend. Aww. What was I going to show you? Oh, Dexter's lab, you right just there. Broke a lot of hearts. <gasps> well. Whoa, I'm teasing. <laughs> That's awesome. What am I? What I've never gone through somebody's Instagram when I'm with them, but you're just really cool, and it's a pretty casual carpet. Thanks. So that's awesome. Not I'm looking forward there. to checking this out. The I coolest... have a photography Instagram as well. You should check out Kendall Schmidt Photography. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Shameless plug. I'm glad I got to chat with you. I'm, I'm totally. You wait, wait. Tell me what's on your necklace really quick, and then I'm going to let a you go. Guitar pick and uh, Kansas. Okay. Oh, that's, that's for me. That's oh, my own personal message. Oh, 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 okay. I'm so nosy. You are? No, I'm just <laughs> Sorry. Classic reporter. You've been a good sport. Thank, Thank you, you, Kendall. Thank you. <laughs>